Consider yourself to be truly lucky if you get a chance to cheer FC Barcelona and the legend, Leo Messi, when you visit the largest soccer stadium of Europe, here in the city of Barcelona. But did you know, although soccer is the most loved sport in this country, but it is not the national sport here. We are here today in the beautiful city of Barcelona, the cosmopolitan capital of Spain. But, can I tell you the first mind-blowing fact regarding the national sport of Spain? The national sport which is bullfighting is banned here. I know what are you thinking, how can the national sport of a country be banned in one of its part? Well, stay with me as we come to know about this and a lot of other facts about Barcelona. Let's begin, shall we? I'm gonna ban bullfighting because it is incompatible with my culture. Catalonia, you are still an autonomous region under me. And you're only allowed to regulate bullfight, but you're not in an illegal position to ban them. Oh, all right. I'll simply discourage anybody who wants to organize any bullfight in my territory. It doesn't matter, after all, if you allow me to ban them or not, if nobody organizes a bullfight here. That was the story, my friends. Bullfighting was banned by the Catalonian Parliament in 2010, the ban came to effect on 1st January, 2012. However, in 2016, the Spanish Constitutional Court overturned the ban. The last fight took place in Barcelona in 2011, here in La Monumental Bull Ring. But, I think some of you are wondering, that why Catalonia has its own parliament, although it is not an independent country. You may have heard about federal and unitary form of government. But Spain is a decentralized autonomous form of government. Wondering what that means? It means that according to the Constitution of Spain, regional government functions under a system known as the State of Autonomies, which is a highly decentralized system of administration. Therefore, each autonomy has its own president and a parliament, which can make its own laws that are valid in that particular autonomy before knowing any further, let us know where is Barcelona located, in the world. Spain lies in southwestern Europe and together with Portugal, makes up the Iberian Peninsula. It is divided into 17 autonomous communities, with Catalonia being one of them. Spain also has two group of islands. First is the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa, in the Atlantic Ocean, and the other is the Balearic Islands in the Mediterranean Sea. Spain shares land borders with Portugal on the west, and with Andorra and France on the north. The Pyrenees Mountain forms the physical separation between Spain and France. Among the water bodies, Bay of Biscay lies to the northwest, whereas two subsections of the Mediterranean Sea, called the Balearic Sea lies to the east, and the Alborn Sea lies to the south. The Strait of Gibraltar separates Spain from Morocco. In the south, La Línea de la Concepción is the peninsula on which Gibraltar is located which is an overseas territory of the UK, according to the Treaty of Utrecht made in 1713. The tiny exclave autonomous cities of Ceuta and Melilla lies on the continent of Africa. Hence, Spain shares international border with Morocco as well. Also, the peninsula of Penan de Vélez de la Gomera is divided by a 100-meter-wide sand bridge. Talking about Catalonia, it is an autonomous community headed by a president. It is further subdivided into four provinces. Barcelona province is further subdivided into these comarques. The province of Barcelona is somewhat a triangular-shaped province on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. Girona lies to the north of Barcelona province. Leda to the west, and Tarragona to the southwest. Balearic Sea lies to the south and east. 
the capital of the Barcelona province, and the entire community of Catalonia is the city of Barcelona. The city of Barcelona shares its northern boundary with Marism, to the west, Les Vales Occidental, and Bix Brigat, is in the southwest. The city is a relatively flat land bounded by the river Besos on the north, and the river La Brigat lies to the south. The Colserola range forms the western boundary. The Balearic Sea lies to the east. Although flat, the city is peppered with small urbanized hills such as Carmel, Puget and Rivira. Barcelona City is headed by a mayor and it is further subdivided into 10 administrative districts, each headed by a city councillor. Barcelona is connected to the world by the Josep Terradellas Barcelona El Prat Airport. Major cities of Spain is connected to Barcelona via the Barcelona Sint Railway Station. These are the flags of the Catalonia community in the province of Barcelona. These are the coat of arms of Catalonia community in Barcelona province. This is the coat of arms and the flag of the city of Barcelona. Sipping on a glass of sangria, with a hot senorita is the way, I spend most of the evenings when I visit Barcelona, because, Spain has more number of bars than its inhabitants. It has the highest number of bars per capita in entire EU. But did you know that Spain is the world's second most visited country? One factor for this is the weather. So, let us talk about the weather of Barcelona. Barcelona has a Mediterranean climate. Summers are warm and dry, while winters are moist and mild. Rainfall occurs mostly during spring and autumn. The average day temperature is 21.2 degrees Celsius, and the night is 15.1 degrees Celsius. January is the coldest month, while August is the warmest before discussing about the food and the culture of Barcelona, let us know about the beautiful people of this beautiful city. According to Barcelona's City Council, Barcelona's population as of 1 January 2016, was 16,8746 people, on a land area of 101.4 square kilometer. Barcelona is one of the most densely populated cities in Europe. The people of Barcelona are called Barcelonians. Majority of them are Spanish, of Catalan origin. In 2016, about 59% of the inhabitants of the city were born in Catalonia and 18.5% coming from the rest of the country. In addition to that, 22.5% of the population was born outside of Spain. The most important region of origin of migrants is Europe especially Italy and France. Moreover, many migrants come from Latin American nations such as Bolivia, Ecuador or Colombia. Among Asians, the Chinese and the Pakistanis make up the largest migrant population. Talking about the religion, most of the inhabitants are Roman Catholic. The province of Barcelona has the highest Muslim population of entire Spain. The city also has the largest Jewish community in Spain. There are also a number of other groups, including evangelical, Jehovah's Witnesses, Buddhists and Eastern Orthodox. Spanish is the most spoken language in Barcelona and it is understood almost universally. Catalan is also very commonly spoken in the city. It is understood by 95% of the population. In this episode, we will talk about the Catalan flag and coat of arms. The Spanish flag and emblem will be discussed in the Madrid episode. If you love the episodes on this channel, and want to remain connected with me, consider pressing the red subscribe button. Also, click on the notification bell icon to get notifications. The link of my Instagram profile is in the description below. The flag of Catalonia is based on the Senora. The Senora is a vexillological symbol based on the coat of arms of the Crown of Aragon, which consists of four red stripes on a yellow field. This coat of arms, often called Bars of Aragon, or simply the Four Bars, historically represented the King of the Crown of Aragon. This is the coat of arms of Catalonia. One name, which you all should know, before coming to Barcelona is Antoni Gaudi. He was a Catalan architect, known as the greatest exponent of Catalan modernism. We will discuss more about this famous mortal, later in this episode. First is Park Gul. It is a public park, located on Carmel Hill. 
with urbanization on mind, UCB Ghoul assigned the design of the park to the renowned architect Antoni Gaudi. It was built from 1900 to 1914 and opened to the public in 1926. In 1984, it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Casa Bello is a building in the center of Barcelona. It was designed by Antoni Gaudi and it is considered one of his masterpiece. The local name for the building is Casa dels Ossos, which means House of Bones, as it has a visceral, skeletal organic quality. In 2005, it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Casa Mila, popularly known as La Pedra, is an exceptional building in Barcelona. This was the last residence of Antoni Gaudi before his death. He received much controversy for the architectural design of this building because of its unusual shape and it didn't respect any laws of conventional architecture. This building is itself marvelous and also serves as a museum exhibiting other crafts made by Gaudi. Next we come to Barry Gothic, or the Gothic Quarter. For 2000 years, the Gothic Quarter has been the spiritual and secular center of the city. One can find buildings aging as back as the Roman times, but the buildings from the Middle Ages attract the most attention. Tourists will enjoy wandering the maze of narrow cobblestone streets and atmospheric alleyways, and stopping to discover the neighborhood's quaint boutiques and restaurants. Other highlights of the Gothic Quarter include the Picasso Museum and the Plaza del Rey. Not to be missed is the 16th century Casa de Pedro Laws, which houses the Masud Historia de Barcelona. A photo under the El Pont del Bisbe is mandatory if you want to rock your Instagram feed. At the center of the Gothic Quarter, we have the Catedral de la Santa Cruz y Santa Eulalia, also known as the Barcelona Cathedral. The cathedral is dedicated to Eulalia of Barcelona, co-patron saint of Barcelona, a young virgin, who according to Catholic tradition, suffered martyrdom during Roman times in the city. The body of Saint Eulalia is entombed in the cathedral's crypt. Don't forget to go to the roof of this cathedral as this gives us a breathtaking view of the city. Walking down the La Rambla, you can witness not only the social life of Barcelona, but the blend of the old town and the new city. It feels as if you time traveled from the medieval age to the modern times just by walking down the street. Halfway down the avenue, we find the Plaza Real. It is a square plaza hosting many restaurants and some of the city's most famous nightclubs, including City Car, Jambori, Karma and the historic and reinvented Speakeasy Cocktail Bar, New Pipa Club. Another important monument on La Rambla is Palau Ghul, an ostentatious mansion designed in 1886 by Antoni Gaudi. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. San Sebasti Beach is the beach where locals go to sunbathe, surf, and socialize in the many seafood restaurants and tapas venues that overlook the sea. One of the favorite things to do in Barcelona at night is to watch the magic fountain of Montjuic. It is a beautifully choreographed fountain which dances according to the music. Next we come to the largest soccer stadium of Europe. This gigantic sitting capacity of 99,354, it is the home ground of the legendary football club FC Barcelona. The stadium tour also includes a museum called the Barca Museum, which highlights the history of FC Barcelona and the stadium. The museum shop lets you purchase the official merchandise of the club. Tibi Dabo Amusement Park is an amusement park located on Tibi Dabo Hill on the Colserola Ridge. The park was built in 1899 and opened in 1905. It is Spain's longest running amusement park and Europe's third oldest. Most of the original rides, some of which date to the turn of the 20th century, are still in use. Mount Tabitabo is a hill on the Colserola range and it is the highest peak of Barcelona at 512 meters. At the top of the summit is the Temple Expiatori del Sagrat Cor. It is a Roman Catholic church and a minor basilica. Finally, the most visited monument of Spain, the UNESCO World Heritage Site and the ultimate dream of Antoni Gaudi is the Sagrada Familia. The name Sagrada Familia means the Basilica of the Sacred Family. The work of constructing the cathedral was given to Antoni Gaudi in 1883. Being the chief architect, he began transforming the project with his architectural and engineering style, combining Gothic and Curvilinear Art Nouveau forms. He intended to give 18 spires to the cathedral, out of which only 8 is completed till date. It will be representing an ascending order of height. The Twelve Apostles, the Virgin Mary, the Four Evangelists and, tallest of all, Jesus Christ. Gaudi predicted to finish the project in 10 to 15 years but couldn't complete it, in his lifetime. 
less than a quarter of the total work is completed till 1926. The work was further delayed and stopped during the Spanish Civil War. Most of the original plans were either lost or destroyed during the war. Today the Barcelona City Council is looking after the construction, and it is intended to be completed in 2026, which commemorates the 100-year death anniversary of Gaudi. After the mesmerizing places to visit, let us know about the delicious foods of Barcelona. But before that, let me tell you that Spain is a part of European Union, and its currency is Euro. The Barcelonian foods are a part of the Catalan cuisine. Catalan cuisine relies heavily on ingredients popular along the Mediterranean coast, including fresh vegetables especially tomato, garlic, eggplant, capsicum, and artichoke, wheat products like bread and pasta, or burkina olive oils wines, legumes, mushrooms, nuts like pine nuts, hazelnuts and almonds, all sorts of pork preparations, sheep and goats, cheese, poultry, and many types of fish like sardine, anchovy, tuna, and cod. Some of the special foods include, esquixata du bacala, pa am tomaque, escalaveta, bombas, and two most popular deserts, crema catalana, and malamado. Among the beverages are kava, vermut and urshada. Many of you may have a question that why I didn't mention the world famous Spanish dish, tapa here. Well, it is because tapa means any snack or appetizer, irrespective of whether it is served hot or cold. So, you can consider escalivade mentioned earlier as a tapa. The last is the paella. It is the most famous dish from entire Spain. It originated from Valencia and they call it as their original because it is made only with either rabbit or chicken. Nonetheless, it is found all over Spain and each autonomy has their own specialties. After the mouth-watering dishes, let me take out the culture vulture lurking inside you. So, here are some of the most famous festivals of Barcelona. Dia de Sant Jordi or Saint George's Day is a special day of romance and literature and for all the romantically inclined individuals out there, this proves itself to be a beautiful experience. Men gift women a beautiful red rose, while women give the book in return. Festival de Sonar. With the tagline, music, creativity and technology, Festival de Sonar is one of the biggest music festivals in Barcelona. Festa de la Mers in Barcelona. Festa de la Mers is held in honor of Mary Duty la Mers, the patron saint of Barcelona and is often called the Festival of Festivals. Finally, the Barcelona Carnival. The Barcelona Carnival is the epitome of festivity and indulgence. This city includes some of the legendary personalities. Starting the list with Gerard Pique, footballer. Astrid Burgess Frisbee, actress. Jose Carreras, operatic tenor. Cristina Ochoa, actress. Joan Miro, Painter. Carlos Ruiz Zafin, novelist. Fernadria, chef. Alvaro Soler, singer. Paul Espargaro, motorcycle racer. Julio Gonzalez, sculptor. Now, the man who is also called God's own architect. Antoni Gaudi was born in 1852 in Tarragona, province of Catalonia. He was an architect whose distinctive style is characterized by freedom of form voluptuous color and texture, an organic unity. Gaudi worked almost entirely in or near Barcelona. He was made the chief architect of Sagrada Familia which remains unfinished till today. Seven of his works is listed today as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In 1926, he was hit by a tram but people couldn't recognize him, due to his untidy and shabby clothing. He died from the injuries. Time for you to say me farewell. I had a lovely time, hosting YouTube's only geography show, hosted by a god. You were watching, live the geography life. This is me, Mercury, the god of travel. You can still remain connected with me on Instagram, by clicking on the link in the description. And stay tuned, my disciples. The charming city of Cape Town, coming up next. I just wanna get away, one night in Barcelona.